and welcome back to my channel. I am very cozy and excited to share this video with you. If you are going through a tough time, you're definitely wanna, gun, going to want to stay for the whole thing because, um, yeah, I guess my intention is to just remind you of the truth that you already know exists within you. And I think, firstly, one of the things that we kind of like struggle with when we're like going through a tough time is that we feel like we're alone in it. And that's not true. Um, it definitely feels that way and your feelings of maybe loneliness are totally valid, but it's not true at all. Um, there's not one human on this earth that is exempt from the human experience of struggle, you know, that's just, that's just what we do. We struggle and we persevere and we keep moving, keep moving forward. Um, so yeah, it's easy to like kind of get a glimpse into everyone else around us lives through social media and kind of make these assumptions like, oh, you know, they don't have this problem that I'm dealing with or then they're not you know faced with this hardship or like whatever but you never really know what's going on in somebody else's life um so that's kind of like my first reminder just when you notice yourself comparing your your life to other lives no one's gonna have your life but also no one's life is easy um so although we may experience very different situations um the the internal feelings are the same um and that's what makes us human at least anyways um and then also i like to use that reminder uh to help me soften into the people ar like around me um you know those people that maybe you're driving and they're going like very slow or like they're distracted or like you know you're in the grocery store and someone like cuts you off with their cart or something um and I would say 99% of the time, it's not intentional. They're just kind of in their own world. And instead of, you know, having that like anger and frustration kind of like build up within us and take it out on them, um, know that if that comes up, that anger and that frustration was already within us. And they're kind of like coming into our our sphere to show us, you know, as a mirror to reflect what's uh, what's within and so I like to use those opportunities to kind of like whoosh, drop into myself and instead of projecting it onto the external experience the external trigger whatever it is kind of be like hey check in like what's going on how are you feeling today has anyone asked like has anyone asked you how are you feeling today have you asked yourself how are you feeling today and answered honestly, not just like, a, I'm good, how are you? You know, like whatever, like greeting. Like if someone asks you how you feel, tell them. I feel a little roller coastery today. I feel, you know, things are going up and down a lot. I'm riding the waves. Uh, I'm flowing. I'm doing great. I'm not doing so great. But um, I think when we, we are a safe container for our emotions and allow them to flow through us so we're not suppressing them we're not denying them we're not rejecting them or invalidating how we feel just acknowledging it and not letting it hold us back from living our life you know um yeah so if you're going through a tough time don't compare your life to other people's lives don't compare your struggle to other people's struggles because truth be told also you probably wouldn't want anyone else's struggle um your your struggle your pain is serving a purpose and the purpose is to show you the strength in your character and so if you're going through a tough time i I encourage you to maybe kind of like drop in definitely spend some time meditating just dropping into the stillness that eternally exists within your soul um, I personally love doing Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations they're like very 
transcendental like when you focus when you really really focus and just do what he tells you to do um you can you can lose your perspective and go into the omnipresent presence um it's kind of crazy kind of cool so meditate drop into yourself and know that you're gonna make it through you're gonna make it through have that belief have that faith in the higher purpose that brought this problem to you this challenge this obstacle to your life um have faith just have faith that it's going to work out it is working out and sometimes there's not much that we can do and it's in those moments of complete surrender where we realize this is out of my control this is out of my hands i've done everything i can do to make it through this and you know give it up allow yourself to give it up give it up and let it let it go you know and when we let something go when we really really let it go it's not constantly running through our mind yeah sure we may have those you know reminiscent memories but with each present moment and each present breath we can consciously release and let go A lot of times we hear that voice in our head and we think it's just absolute truth, you know, it's our voice. We don't question it. But when we start to meditate more and realize that the thoughts in our head are just a small little kind of part of us, part of our personality, but it's more habitual, it's more showing you everything that you've been through everything that you've been through everything that you've been conditioned to think and to believe about the world is kind of represented in our thoughts and the benefit of meditating is to create space between yourself and your thoughts so you don't take them so seriously and when we don't take our thoughts so seriously right we might have those like you know those really intense kind of like self-depreciating thoughts or you know like oh you're worthless of course this didn't work out things never work out for you you know going down that really like negative spiral and we might still have those thoughts but as we meditate more you hear the thought and you're like oh wait that's actually not true i know i am worthy I know I am capable of doing great things for this world. And so you don't take the thought so seriously and you don't necessarily create that emotional reaction within you, right? Because thoughts create energy, create emotions, energy in motion, um, which creates feelings, you know, how we feel. And so you can kind of stop it, you know, it's like creating more space. It's like, creating a spaciousness and drop into that spaciousness that truly does exist within the present moment. Um, so have that faith, you know, have that faith that things are working out and there's a lot, there's a lot that we can't see yet um, that is just, just beneath the surface that is uh, waiting for divine timing to um, so I hope this message helps you just feel a bit more optimistic about the current situation you're in and um, yeah I'm here for you so if you have any questions if you have any videos that you want me to specifically speak on or um, any yoga flows I know I had a another hip flow request that I'm going to be working on soon um yeah just know that you can just always leave a comment below um and if you want more like daily inspiration my instagram is at i dream of earthlings yeah so um yeah with that i hope you have a beautiful day sending so much love and blessings your way